Hello, Capricorn. My name is Kristen Simone Hansen, and welcome to Secret Secrets. Okay, so Capricorn, this is your mid-monthly check-in reading. And the thing about these readings is structurally they go a little bit different than normal. For example, I'm going to get straight into the card reading, but instead of showing you guys the, I guess, the cards like I normally do through uh, bird's eye view, I'm pretty much just going to pull them and kind of show you this way and create more of a dialogue in that respect. This is for this week, um, especially post the Libra New Moon and the Libra Eclipse. There's a lot going on with you guys in general. And I know that I can definitely attest for myself when I say that subconsciously there are a lot of things that have been running through my mind pretty much all week because of it. Uh, so let's go straight into the check-in. I also wanted to say as well that at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing kind of an update on what's going on with me and leaving that space open for you guys to go into the comment section and tell me about things that you can relate to in terms of stuff that you're going through and I'm also going to leave that open for any news that I'm going to give to you guys um and I think I think that's it <laughs> uh for those of you who are going to be in the meditation today I look forward to seeing you guys uh it's happening in just a few so let's get this going so what is it that you have to look forward to for the remainder of this week? Well, what really is on your mind from before? Things feel a lot more lighthearted than they did just a few days ago. Which is interesting, I will say. Alright, so in terms of last week where we've got the Five of Cups with the Knight of Wands, which is no surprise to me at all, that pre-solar eclipse new moon energy was really intense. Now we've got some of the clarification here. Got passion, intense chemistry, the Grim Reaper, which is the complete ending of connections, understanding that things cannot be revived or renewed, the ascension, basically transforming through any obstacles and various conversations that you guys ended up getting into at that time. In the world, not of the world, spirals of manifestation and the three of pentacles. So that reminds me of the reading I did for the new moon in that respect. So again, a lot of things that were going around socialization. You guys were feeling like your awareness of your outcasted energy, the times in which you felt that way, but there's a lot of empowerment here. Yeah, sadness, difficulty, endings of connections, ending of relationships, kind of putting your foot down and saying what will be and what wouldn't be. A lot of introspection an awareness of self versus this week now, which is post this new moon. The, like I said, the energy is a lot lighter. You, however, shadow-wise, you're worried about that. You're feeling a little bit scared. You're not feeling the most optimistic, the most idealistic, but it's not so bad. It's not so heavy in a sense of this week, you're not necessarily going to be feeling like you're carrying a big load and you have to really fight for your positivity. It's just more a little bit nervousness and fear around being able to, I guess, find the enlightenment or the light in that respect. But in terms of the subject for this week, we've got a lot going around when it comes to subjects like, oddly enough, love. Divine femininity, connection, intensity, there's a lot of sexuality here. 
especially in combination with the High Priestess energy. I'm going to read this card for you guys here, but this card is all about the Divine Feminine energy, which, of course, is sea goats, regardless of your gender. That is your energy within that respect, so it's big on manifestation. But we've also got here wedding bells and what it is that you desire the most desires you. So there's a lot of manifestation that's happening this week, but in a very introspective way. You're feeling more like a magician in that respect, deeper in your energy, comfortable in your own skin, knowing that your power goes from a deep internal space and not necessarily one where you feel like you have to lug things up the mountain. Because last week you were so aware of your heaviness and your sadness and like trying to do these things where you were dealing with it and you were putting in the energy to push past it. So here's a negative thought and then you're rushing toward it. Here is a negative perspective and you're kind of pushing out of it. You did a really great job in terms of understanding that you were in the world, not of the world. And you were thinking about ways in which you can transition this energy. But again, it all went back to your connections and the dynamics that took place. You ended things for good and you ascended. And for whatever conversations that you had, whoever it is that you were confiding in, that definitely worked for you in a more positive light, which is great. And then here you are resting within yourself for the remainder of this week, understanding that what it is that you desire the most also desires you. And it's very simplistic. I mean, when you're talking about the high priestess, you're talking about a very calm, I don't want to say warm, but a calm, mellow spiritually balanced energy and through all of the difficulties that you guys have went through the one thing that has come out beautifully is the way in which you are new now in tuned with yourself on an intuitive level whether you are deeply in i guess in touch with yourself on a spiritual level or whether it's just your ability to trust within your internal self has been increased drastically and you're aware of what it is that you can do and what it is that you can create without force there's a lot of contracts happening. There's a lot of connections happening. People wanting to connect with you. You kind of being able to put out what it is that you want and it finds you. Which is great. I think it's a really great energy to have after such a difficult week last week. Obviously, the energy of the new moon is going to be lingering. It's going to continue to linger. But you're doing a great job at transitioning this energy. You're letting it make you stronger instead of letting it kind of tear you down. And it's through understanding that the depths of yourself have become deeper. And through that depth, you can create more from it. And it's also another thing as well, the uniqueness of this card. Because it's understanding that despite what it is that exists on the external, the self-appreciation of embracing the things about you that are who you are without any kind of excess support or backing or whatever it might be. You're embracing the things that make you individualistic and then seeing them as a point of power. Again, there, there's a lot pertaining to connections this week, but in a more positive light. Some inklings of love, but love can be many different things. It can be business, it can be romantic, but the deeper love you have for yourself, you're very introspective and very quiet. And you're pulling people toward you. You're pulling things toward you. So you don't have anything to worry about. But this cup has been spilled and you're feeling a little bit nervous throughout the week in terms of not wanting to kind of let that negative energy take you away. But you will be validated by the things that end up coming into fruition. The people that end up coming out of the woodworks. Which is beautiful. Okay, so that is your reading for this week. Nice, short, and sweet. Now, uh, to get into some details about us and what it is that we're doing, uh, the meditations happen every Sunday, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and they happen on Instagram. I will link the Instagram, I think it's on this side, uh, so that you guys can check in and be a part of it whenever you have the availability for next week or whichever week works for you. Uh, I will say that for myself, when it comes to this moon transit and the eclipse in general, it's been 
It's been a lot. Um, I'm lucky to say that most of it has been subconscious and really battling a lot of internal thoughts, memories, perspectives. It's like the, his the history or more like the past has like found itself with me and has come up to remind me of so many things that I did not want to remember. But in the process, I'm able to kind of come out on the other side in a much more powerful light, which has been great. And using those things in order to um, not recreate them, I guess, in the future. So I like, similar to what you guys apparently are going through, I am aware of my um, personal power, although sometimes feeling a little bit powerless. So it's been interesting, I will say. But yeah, so that is your check-in. Tell me, how, tell me how you guys are feeling and what it is that you're going through. Um, I don't know, I've been like a little stuttery lately. It's probably because of all the things that have been like running through my head. So yeah, share and I will see you soon. I love you. Ciao.